Hey guys, Gogzy here, and as Bill Wax's second most subscribed to YouTuber, I'm here to welcome you to the 2017 Leavers video. Enjoy! Like for those who have lights, which isn't all of you, let's face it, eh? Um, go be happy, do your best, be successful, learn from those mistakes. But above all, please, 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 don't come up to see me. Go, don't come up and speak to me if you see me about after school. I don't care what you're doing. Leave me alone. Oh, remember to wash your hands after the toilet as well. 
that's my advice. Never eat soup with chopsticks. Grab every opportunity going, party hard, but don't miss deadlines. I'm somewhat disappointed that after six years of most of you having me as a teacher, it's only now you come to ask me for life advice. First and foremost, when you wake up every morning, the first thought that should be entering your head is, what can I do today that will be immortalised in a sea shanty? So that in years to come, people will be singing about me on cruise ships and pleasure barges up and down the cruise lines of the world. That's the first bit of advice. Excuses are like the cancer of achievement. Don't excuse anything. There's no reason you can't do a thing. Sometimes you don't pull it off, but there's no actual reason you can't do it. And just remember that mucking around m makes up for an awful lot of just the, you know, doldrum that sometimes life can be. Don't stop being childish, it's good for you. <laughs> like, like that, see? See that? <laughs> see that whole kind of attitude about her? That's good for you, it's good for your soul. Life is like a coin. You can spend it any way you like, but you only get to spend it once. Do you want to just close That's that door? deep. Uh, excuse me, I'm talking here. Quiet now. <laughs> Try new things. Give it your all. You know, uh, don't let people talk you out of things. Give things a bash. Uh, you know, um, you're only young once. Uh, they say so. Give things a shot. Uh, have some fun, but look after yourselves. You're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. And that's from a bear. That is Winnie the Pooh, my favourite philosopher. Second bit of advice is. No matter what career you're going to pursue, try and watch the Discovery Channel as much as you physically can. There's some pretty good stuff on that channel, don't you know? And it will guide you through the most difficult situations in life. Thinking of a couple of individuals who may or may not have been involved with Macbeth, I would say always buy mixers when you're going to drink spirits. <laughs> always know the time and don't speak to strangers. That's served me well over the years. You've probably been tying your shoelaces wrong all this time. You've probably been tying your shoelaces thusly. And you see when you pull the shoe apart, the shoelace was in a vertical fashion. That's a weak form of the knot. However, if you're to loop your lace the other way around the knot, you'll see when you pull the shoe apart, it stays horizontal. That's a strong form of the knot. That's really quality life advice. Don't eat yellow snow. <laughs> uh, always drink a pint of water when you come back in from the union after a night out. Now, where you sit in the common room is crucial because you've got everybody there. You've got your populars. Oh my god! Can you like my Instagram? Ah! So good. Oh my god. <laughs> Jocks. Stoners. The outsiders. Sporty girls. Wannabes. Nerds. You got your preps. Afternoon oh, tea girls, take the BMW. <laughs> Hipsters. <laughs> and then teen moms. And the worst, beware of the plastics. That little one, that's Bryony Harris. She knows everything about everyone. That's why her hair's so big, it's full of secrets. And that one there, that's Karina Manders. She's one of the dumbest girls you will ever meet. And evil takes human form in Philippa Black. She may seem like your typical selfish, backstabbing, slut-faced hoe bag, but in reality, she's so much more than that. 
She's Queen Bee. I want to start with something that's not funny, a non-funny moment. Be very clear, it was not funny. Your Halloween disco was not funny. It was horrible. Hearing about the Halloween party. I have only two words to say. Halloween disco. That'll get edited out. When I had the uh, incredible higher drama class and an unbelievably good higher media class, we got something like the second or third best grades in the entire country. We had a whale of a time. Well, I had a whale of a time, and I hope they did. And it meant that, yeah, so it was like I didn't have to work for a year. I just came in and hung out with people I got on well with, and then, it was, then we all did well. <laughs> You are the first year group that I've seen through from S1 all the way through to S6. So to an extent, some of you feel like that you're mine. Mm. But uh, my most memorable will be uh, the S6 bunch when we were in New York. Um, Andrew's kilt permanently in view. Uh, the singing and the fact that um, the younger children found the whole event overwhelming and the sixth year just absolutely lapped the culture up and had a great time. Uh, Leanne's cackle has just been something over the last four years. On well, my higher class last year, teaching Sunset Song to much groans and moans and why do we have to do this? And then taking them to see the film, which I'd had to kind of use as a carrot, and then discovering that the film was really very, very bad. Um, but the best bit was that the next day they ripped it to shreds and showed me how well they understood it. So it was all good. But you decided of all the places in the world you could go to, you were going to come to Dunfermline. And quite frankly, even just now, it brings a tear to my eye. You were, could have gone to Scum D, you could have gone to Kirkcaldy, but you chose Dunfermline. And I hope all of you are richer for the experience. I'll get back to you on that one. Working with the charities group has been memorable from beginning to end. Uh, but special memories would be the National Five French class and then the higher French class. When I had my face painted as Gene Simmons from Kiss for the year group photo. Maybe Angie Nemo just being Andrew, aka Goatface. Can't really think of any individual moments. Um, really a, a funny year group, a great laugh, We've got quite a few year. Um, very funny to be around. It's over and done with, it's over and done with. It's over and done with, it's over and done with. It's over and done with, it's over and done with. It's over and Sometimes I feel like my sex life's on history
advanced higher drama. If I didn't make you cry during this course, you must have been absent a lot. Just for Louis Leslie. So to Tanya, remember what to take on a picnic. For Ailey, my walking buddy, um, after your wonderful gift, I'm never going to be thirsty on a trip again. And always remember my special moment to infinity and beyond. <laughs> And then to Rianne, my toilet buddy, which sounds a bit wrong, but it isn't. Just remember, always be prepared. So if you'd like to come up to my room sometime, um, I've got a present for you. Right. Bananas that. and pyjamas. Bananas and pyjamas. Yes. Chloe and Tidy, you know who you are. B1, B2. B1, B1. B1. there's one, there's always Bananas there. and pyjamas. <laughs> Leanne? Yes. The award goes to Leanne for the most appointments in any one year. Lewis Hahn. Mr Happy. And his many adventures with his 12 scarves. <laughs> oh, Kai. You, you have to... I'm going to miss Kai. Every single morning, Kai signed in late. And every excuse, it was it his is car. car. Meg and Megan. That's Megan with an E. Um, just, of course, those guys that have uh, been in modern studies, um, of course, you've got a special place in our hearts here. You're the top of the bunch. Uh, <laughs> no, just again, um, best luck to everyone, especially people going on to do sociology, international relations, politics, that kind of stuff, you know. Remember, fight the power, that kind of thing. <laughs> don't let authority get you down. Uh, don't let the agents of social control destroy your pursuit for life. That's all I can say. <laughs> Might get in trouble for that, but hey-ho. No. Cool. Good luck, guys. Calm slay. Cycle your bike, have a good time. Don't do any more experiments on bikes ever again in your life. Claire, learn how to do a better fake smile, I think. I don't know what you do, but learn a better one. Leanne Crow, could you just stop gossiping? I mean, remember that teachers aren't supposed to hear everything. Uh, Jack and Michael, I don't even teach it. But my room, period three on a Thursday and Friday, is not a pub. Stop the swearing, I don't want to hear any more of these stories, they're horrible. Pete, uh, you're guilty as well. That's all. Believe in yourselves, go out there, have fun but uh, you can always depend on the kindness of strangers and remember that nothing but the land endures and my higher class will get that one. Uh, Neem's less product in your hair. Eve, decide what you want your hair to be. Middleton's, uh, just remember me in your Oscar reception speeches. Just everybody, do everything you get the opportunity to do. My, my bairns, Connor, Campo Piano, your digs are going up. I just want to say to the rugby boys, I think it's been a great year. Thanks very much for all your black eyes. I've carried my first aid kit every game, especially you, Clueless. Every black, every, Clueless, aye. Every game, we've had black eyes. Loads of messages. I think Ailey Strachan should never stop baking. She's made like all my wife's birthday cakes, all my son's birthday cakes. Adam needs to find out how to make a living out of just walking around, you know, thinking, because she's like really practiced at it and, you know, you should try and work out a way to make some money from that. When I grow up, I hope I'm like Lewis Han um, and can do everything all the time and, and always be in a good mood. And I think Holly Sinclair just needs to smile more. Just be happy, Holly. It's good. Life's good. Everything's good. It's fine. Not everybody is trying to be horrible or be rude. It's really ironic that Holly thinks everybody's rude. I would like to thank Rhiannon, who just took on a horrendous job with the yearbook. And, you know, it's just a lot of hassle and she really stuck it out. I think Lauren McNaughton, I hope she works out that she is unbelievably good at one day. Because she just worked so hard and she tried and she did so much for your guys' yearbook. So you should all thank her for it. I make an unbelievable amount of hours. I have lots of messages and I hope I have, I hope I have the luck to give them all to those people personally. The captains have been fantastic. They have been good. Very, very well organised. So hopefully you leave a nice little to-do oh, list and how to do for yes, next year. Absolutely. Also, thank you to all the duty prefects. To those who turned up. Yes. Emma, you were fantastic. Thank you. Yes. Um, uh, Anne Morgan. Anne Morgan. Also, yeah. Mr. Kieran, Kieran, you were good too. And Robbie. Um, yeah. Robbie Kirsties. Yeah. 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 Those who were had to come hunting for you. Yes. You know who you are. Okay. As a whole year group, you guys were sensational. Um, 
on behalf of me, the Social Subjects faculty and the RMPS team, thanks for turning up week in, week out uh, for the uh, lessons and we hope we take something with you. But more importantly, just remember that you are individuals. You know, we get a lot of pressure in life about people telling you what you should be and what you should be doing in your uh, careers, but you are you. You are the only person that is ever going to be and consequently, even if you finish your courses, you finish your apprenticeships, life is big. And some of the most interesting people I know at the age of their 30s or their 40s or even their 50s still don't know what they're going to do with life. So enjoy the one life that you have, unless of course you're a Buddhist, Sikh or Hindu, because you've got several to choose from, and just enjoy the opportunities that life presents for you and never be afraid to say yes. Jamie, what do you want for your tea, son? <laughs> the bar closes and you feel like falling down. I'll carry you home tonight.